After taking off the back cover, the first thing you notice is the power supply. Let's see. No indication of the voltage. But no problem. Let's just power it up and find out. Well, this was a change. Apple has gone down from 12 volts to just 4.29 volts. Okay, let's take out the power supply and see what else we can find. Now for our sponsor. Wait, that's us. Just for sticking with us for this long we are offering a 50% discount on our 87 watt USB-C car adapters using coupon code. Popping off the cover, we can't find any more power information. But that's okay. We'll put a load on a load tester and find out what the max amp that this power supply will output. Looks like the max amp output is around 4.2 amps. That means this power supply is about 18 watts. Okay, now to install the DC power supply. We will reuse the two stud washers from the original power supply. So we will break them off the power supply. Now to set out DC board to the right voltage and amp limit. Don't pay attention to the scribble on the cardboard. That was another project. Now to attach wires. Install jack. Hook up the positive and negative wires using the two stud washers that we broke off from the power supply. Final test of the unit, and we are good to go. As we have said time and time again, using a direct DC method instead of using an inverter will use much less power and longer run time from battery sources. If you liked our video, please smash those icons. Thank you. We will link all the devices we used in this video, and check us out at MikeGyver.com.